Because this, this is an important story. So Amy Goodman, obviously 20-year host plus of uh, Democracy Now!, was out in Dakota, North Dakota, I guess about a, mo- a little more than a month ago, five or six weeks ago. She was covering the, um, the protests in front of the Dakota Access Pipeline. And you'll recall this footage. This footage, I think, and I think it's widely accepted that this footage that she uh, brought, because there are other people there with, with, with video cameras, but she has a very large platform. They have a huge budget on that show. I mean, maybe not huge relative to, like, uh, television networks, but from in, in our corner of the world, very huge budget. And uh, so she's able to get out there and get this stuff out to a lot of people, and, and it made the news. And this footage galvanized people across the country and I think was a big factor in getting at least a moratorium on the building of this pipeline in this particular area. But here's that footage. Why are you letting their their dog go after the protesters? It's covered in blood. So there you, I mean, obviously people were uh, pretty upset when you, you could see multiple instances in that video clip of these security guards. I mean, not really security guards, they're attack guards. Dropping their dog's leashes and allowing the dogs to bite the protesters. And you can hear Amy Goodman saying, why are you letting the dogs attack them? There's blood all over the dog's mouth. Also, I mean, not just inhumane to the people, but also to the dogs, frankly. So apparently, about a week later, Goodman was told that Morton County, North Dakota, issued a warrant for her arrest. The charge was criminal trespassing, which is a misdemeanor. They ended up having to drop that because there was the, um, the prosecutor conceded that there was not enough notice of the trespass requirements. So they charged her with riot, which is a misdemeanor uh, punishable by jail time and a fine by arguing... Erickson, I guess, is the guy's name, Lad Erickson, who is the prosecutor, that Goodman is not a journalist. She's a protester, basically. Erickson was quoted in the Grand Forks Herald. Everything she reported on was from the position of justifying the protest actions. I think she put together a piece to influence the world on her agenda, basically. That's fine, but it doesn't immunize her from the laws of her state. It's just sort of stunning that they're attempting to discount her journalistic bona fides. I mean, look, by every standard, she is a journalist. By every possible standard. And look, this is a very subjective thing. I I mean, or I, I shouldn't say very. It is a subjective thing. But... There's no doubt in my mind she's been credentialed for any uh, official event she wants to go to, right? Like, I mean, if I was questioned as to whether or not I was a journalist in this context, I don't spend a lot of time defining myself as a journalist. But I certainly could make the argument that I am a journalist. I mean, just based upon the interviews that we do, right? I mean, Charlie Rose, the Charlie Rose show. The idea that he wasn't, uh, his ideology wasn't a function of choosing the interview guests. Give me a break. All those years he was sitting around the round table. I got credentialed to the presidential debates. I got news for you. 
I'm sure uh, I'm sure Amy Goodman has been and could be credentialed for debates. Of course. And I'll tell you who can't be. Lars Erickson. This prosecutor could not send an application in and get credentialed to cover the debates. So this is going to be interesting. She's flown out there. I think, uh, I don't know when she flew out there, but she basically has turned herself in as of today because I think she wants a trial on this. My guess is that's not going to happen. But it's unbelievable the lengths in which they will go to, and, and understand what this is about. This is not about Amy Goodman. This is about trying to intimidate other people from reporting on what happens next with this Keystone Access Pipeline. It is an attempt to intimidate protesters. See, even Amy Goodman, who has an audience of probably millions on a daily basis, even she can't escape prison from us. So if you think you're going to, forget it. They've arrested um, one of the producers who worked with Josh Fox. Same game they're playing. Same game. So take a moment. Write to Lars Erickson. North Dakota. We'll put his information on uh, on the site at majority.fm. And listen, I'm all deputizing all of you as uh, journalists, as, as reporters, stringers for the Majority Report. By the way, it's Lad Erickson. Lad, of not Morton Lars. County. Lad of Morton County. We'll put an address up there. I'm, 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 I'm hiring you as citizen journalists. It's part of our new initiative on the Majority Report. I'm just announcing it. And uh, I want you all to ask a question so that we can do our journalism of Lad. Try and make it specific. So that we can really do some... Uh... That's my home county. Oh, here it is. L. R. Eric Sun. With a K. C. K. L. R. E. R. I. C. K. S. O. N. At N. D. Dot Gov. Yeah. 701. I'm not doxing him. This is his office. Seven zero one four six two eight five four one. Just ask a nice question like Oh, you can ask him something about the First Amendment. You can ask him like what are the um what are the standards for journalism? Like who do you consider a journalist? She didn't. She didn't um, report on how hungry the dogs were and how they were just getting nourishment. Unbelievable. Hi now. Oh, Subscribe.